Hi, I'm Bogdan, and this is a gameplay video of Paradise Lost, a narrative-driven adventure game set in alternative history where you play as Shimon, a 12-year-old boy who is trying to solve the mystery of his origin. Uh, in his search for answers, Shimon is led to an abandoned underground Nazi bunker. Right now, uh, we're over an hour into the story. Um, Shimon has just taken a leap of faith and is exploring a part of the bunker that was meant to be the garrison for the Nazi troops stationing inside. The only piece of evidence that tie his fate to this place is a photo of his uh, late mother and a mysterious man. Every story he descends takes him closer to the answers he's looking for. The bunker wasn't just a military project. Civilians were also needed to keep the place running. When they were designing the bunker, the Nazis did everything they could to make this place as close to the outside world as possible. The sandy beach with its artificial sun is one of the most vivid examples of the insane scale of their undertaking. Who knows what Shimon will encounter deeper within. I guess uh, someone forgot to turn off the water. Shimon has already learned that things didn't go as planned for the Nazis. A Polish insurgency infiltrated the bunker and managed to seize control. This part of the game is focused on the aftermath of the rebellion. This area was designed to serve as the living quarters for the Nazi officers. After the takeover, it was adapted to serve as the headquarters of the Polish rebels. Life underground wasn't easy and the political atmosphere was very tense.
Hello, can you hear me? Ah, it's not working. I need to find a control room. Who knows who could be on the other end of the line? Shimon will have to turn on the comms to find out. It's locked. Why were those cables torn out? Hello? Red light, the door's closed. Let's try to find a key to open it. Thing here. <sighs> Why were people cramped together like this? Far from being a place of luxury, the building had become a squat. The Poles were leading anything but a luxurious lifestyle, and things were going from bad to worse. The rebels weren't just soldiers, some of them had families, even when times are hard, children always find a way to play. The cameras are missing, that's definitely not a coincidence. It's been a long journey for Shimon up to this point and there's still a long way to go. That church, it looks familiar. I think I passed in my way here. This has to be the archive room. It must have taken a lot of effort to collect the evidence of the Nazis' atrocities. Let's not get into details, you'll find out more for yourself. First among the equals. Seems like someone didn't have to endure the same hardships as others. Makes you wonder what other mysteries are hidden in this room. There's the key. What's this for? The man who wrote this letter didn't want to let go of the idea of using the bunker systems to the Poles' advantage. Let's go try the locked door. Maybe we'll be able to turn on that intercom. This one's closed. Let's have a look inside.
purchasing power is at least 50,000 times greater than that of the Americans in Yak. Its construction employs newly discovered methods of neural communication, sustained by faint electrical impulses and the activation of normally unused parts of the hands. What's the hands? Yes, this Lucian character couldn't find common ground with Dominica and uh, decided to leave the group. what this council does. Why would they keep the technology away from the group like this? Guess you'll need to find that out for yourselves. Thanks for watching and don't forget to wishlist.